key of imagination. Uh, from our previous view. And uh, there's the lamp placed uh, at the exact spot that I want it, depth-wise. Now you can go back to your top view and uh, you see the lamp is there and we're we're going to copy this lamp. Now comes the easy part of putting all the lamps on the table. When you make a copy where the red arrow is, uh, that icon down there is a copy icon. Um, it makes an exact copy of that object that's selected in the exact same spot that it's at. And so you just copy and move it to the middle of the circle. You don't have to go to the side view anymore because you're not moving it up and down, you're just moving it left and right. So, And since you based it off the first copy, which is already set correctly, uh, in the depth, uh, all the other ones will be set correctly as well. Here you see all of them placed, copied, placed, uh, moved into their respective holes in the table. Now we have to go uh, uh, back to the s side view because we made a copy of the last one and we're going to move up to the upper play field and that's at a different C uh, height. And here's the side view and uh, once again you click the move bar and you can right click on it to lock just the Y and uh, move that lamp into the hole that you want. Switch back to the top view and uh, once again click on your move and we're going to move that light to all the holes on the top light field doing copies and moves, copies and moves. And here they are all filled up here. Uh, now we're almost done with this part. We're going to go to our 3D view, click the, where the overhead is, and click to the little house icon, and there's our 3D view. And you can see all the lamps in their holes. And let's do our render here to see what it looks like. And there you see it. You see a bunch of uh, GI lights with no light in them, just, just the lamp housings. Now we're going to put the lights in them. Here I selected my next layer, which is a pinkish red color. I'm going to put all of our actual light objects, the objects that actually radiate light on the, to the table, into that layer. If you put all your lights that are in the GI lamps into a separate layer, and you want to do a rendering with the GI lights off, but with their uh, envelopes still visible, the glass and the metal, uh, and you put all the actual physical light objects into the a separate layer. You can turn that layer on and off, and uh, it's the same as turning all the lights on and off. So very easy to do a, a rendering with the light on and with light off. So we're going to put all the light objects for the GI lighting in that one layer. So once again, we go up to our file menu, load object, and I, I pick my GI light which is an object I had saved earlier. I used it in the Matahari table, and it works nicely. You, you do your experimentation with it, uh, with intensities and um, you know, uh, fall-off distances, all that stuff, until you get it looking right, and then you save it as a, a light object that you can pull in later. Just like we did for the envelopes, click the Move button, and there you see the light at the bottom is the pink X, the blue circle around it is the fall-off distance. Uh, once again, uh, through lots of experimentation, I decided that's a good fall-off distance for the GI lights. Fall-off distance is you know, how far it goes out before it, the intensity peters out to nothing. So now we're going to move that light right into the center of an envelope, like so. Now we're going to have to go to the side view make sure it is correctly in, inside the glass envelope of the GI light. Uh, once again, hit the move, lock it to the Y, and you can see we're ab above the glass envelope. And there we go, we moved it down into the glass envelope. Since we set it in the center on the previous top-down view, we know it's right where it should be right now. Now we can use the view, go back to the top view. And once again, Hit the use the copy button and, do, and copy move copy move 
all the lights into their respective envelopes. And just like we did for the GI light envelopes, you need to move that light up for the top play field. You see right now it's low, down low with all the rest of them, so you go up and hit the move, lock it to Y, and move it straight up into the envelope. Go back to your top view and make copy, move, copy, move all the lights. Now you can go back to your 3D view, hit the render button, and voila! There you have all the lights lit. Uh, for this particular render I turned off the image based lighting so it's just GI lights and uh, no atmospheric lighting. And that's it for lighting. Pretty simple. Once you got your, uh, did your experimentation and built your models of uh, the lamps and the uh, actual light, just a matter of copying and moving them. Uh, all these lights, by the way, cast shadows. So when you start putting in uh, posts and rubbers and gates and guides and targets, uh, all the shadows will magically appear because all these lights are set to cast shadows. That's it. Uh, thanks for joining me.